Hey guys. First, before starting, I want to say thanks to my friends Brian, Diego, and Miguel, who helped me in the doing of this video with some references of series I haven't watched. And I want to give a special thanks to my friend Jose for being the person who introduced me to this fantastic story called Ashitana Joe and also helped me to write this video and organize information and context for every reference. Also thanks to the Ashitana Joe references Tumblr page for providing information of some extra references to make this video long enough. Go visit their website, there are tons and I mean tons of references and information in there. The link will be in the description below. Warning! This video contains serious spoilers of the Ashes and Joe series and some spoilers from various other manga and anime. If you have not seen Ashes and Joe or you don't want to be spoiled about the series, please don't watch this video. You have been warned. The manga Ashes and Joe was created by Iki Kahiwara and Tetsuya Shiba. It was published from 1968 to 1973. The manga got two anime adaptations, the first season in 1970 and the second one in 1980. The first season was made by Moshe Productions and the second season by TMS Entertainment. The series is about a young boy called Joe Jabuki who one day meets an ex-pro boxer called Danpei Tange. After seeing how Joe fights, Danpei wants to introduce him to the boxing world. At the beginning, Joe refuses, but over time, he kind of accepts. The Ashitana Joe series have been a product of inspirations for many other works. In this video, we will evidence some references from various other manga and anime to Ashitana Joe. So please enjoy. Kinikuman, Episode 10 The main character, Kinikuman, starts to yell at some boxers who are currently fighting each other. After that, they provoke Kinikuman to fight against them, and when Kinikuman enters the ring, his face design changes to a Joja Buki face like, just before getting brutally beaten by those guys. <laughs> Sakigake Otokoyuku Episode 13 Before entering a boxing fight, the main character, Ihachi Ezejima, Begins to read the Ashitan Joe manga because he haven't done boxing in his life. Oi, Togash, what are you doing? Joe? No, no, no. I'm boxing. I'm going to cross counter to a item of the banana. Oh, no, 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 this yokai is inspired by Joe Jabuki, and the other yokai who accompanies him is inspired by Tange Danpei. Kintama, episode 163. During a boxing fight between two characters from Hintama, Hintoki and Kagura show up with some plots similar to Danpei Tange. <laughs> Tengen Topa Gurren Lagan Episode 1 During their first episode, Simon and Kamina tried to escape from the underground in a similar way Joe tried to escape the reformatory, riding a bunch of pigs, of course. Oh, 
Avarem Rikishi, Matsutaro, Episode 6. During a short fragment of the episode, you can see the main character, Matsutaro Sakaguchi, reading an Ashitani Joe manga. And you can see as well some other famous manga around. Bo Bo Bo. I'm not really sure about this one, but a character with a similar hairstyle to Joja Buki appears on a page of this manga, so I'll get this a reference. Lupin the Third, Part 5, Episode 6. During the sixth episode of the fifth part of Lupin, the main character, Lupin, tries to open a strong box that only stupid people can open. However, Lupin, being the genius he is, can't open the strong box. Because of this, he starts to train with his friends to reduce his mental power. In this episode, you can see Lupin in a similar situation to Joel when he was trying to escape the reformatory. <laughs> Stains Gate Visual Novel In the Visual Novel video game Stains Gate, the protagonist Okabe Rintaro receives a message from Ferris another character of the game, excusing herself about how she couldn't go with a friend of Okabe to an anime convention. This is the message. Cutie Honey 1997, Episode 14 The main protagonist, Honey Kisaragi, makes his appearance with an outfit and hairstyle that resembles Joe Jabuki. <laughs> 20th Century Boys A police officer asks a mysterious character about his name. The mysterious man replies asking for the officer's name. The officer tells him that his name is Hoshi. The mysterious guy then says that if he's Hoshi, then he's Yojabuki. For the people who don't know who is Hoshi, Hoshi is the main character of the baseball manga Kyoji no Hoshi, written by one of the authors of Ashitan Jo, Iki Kahiwara. And I think we all know who Jo Jabuki is. And we are back with Hinchama, episode 229. During many parts of this episode, one of the characters starts mimicking Tange Danpei saying some famous lines and expressions that Pei does in the series, like That's on the Joe! or things like that. Fantasista, Volume 1, Chapter 2 The sister of the protagonist of the series sent him letters with soccer strategies resembling the way that Pei sent letters about boxing techniques to Joe while he was at the reformatory. Tengen Topa Gurren Lagan, Episode 3 During a mech fight on Episode 3, Simon and Kamina are fighting against Vital. During this fight, we can see a punch exchange that looks the same as the cross counter 
Joe and Rikishi had during their fight at the reformatory. Hokuto no Ken 2, Episode 12. During the Falco vs. Genshiro fight, the two of them do the same punch exchange as the last reference. Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Daimon is Unbreakable, Episode 10 The character Okayasu Nijimura makes a reference of the Ashita no Yo series after eating a dish in a restaurant. まあ、なかなかうまいじゃねえのうまいよ。かなりうまい。でもなんかよくわかんねえけどよ。味があんまりしねえよ、このチーズ。違う、違う。トマトと一緒に口の中に入れるんです。何トマトと一緒にま、外
we are not very sure if this is a direct reference to Joe's death, nevertheless it is possible. And we want to quantify something, that Joe's death is not a reference to Gamina's death, like some people we have seen on the internet think. It's the other way, because uh, a shit on Joe was published some decades before Tengeto Parguren Lagan was a thing. Also, there are lots of scenes in other series that are not referenced to Kamina's death, but Joe said, just to clarify. Mob Psycho 100, Episode 3 After joining the bodybuilding club, Mob, the protagonist, is running with the other members of the club, and then he collapses. After that, the color palette changes to the same as the color palette of Joe's death. I'm not very sure if this is a reference or not, but it looks like a Joe's death reference to me, so yeah. お得の魅力は超能力にあらず僕は自分を変えるために肉体改造部へ入部しました。and that's all oh my god that was a long video and it was supposed to be even longer originally the video was going to be a super mega 100 subscribers special of at least 40 minutes and more than 50 ashitanjo references but end up being half of that this happened mostly because I have been really busy with college and also because I have been playing a lot of video games recently in my free time. Also, video games are a reason of why this channel has been kind of active lately. I mean, I love video games and this year I have played many awesome games that I could recommend to you guys, but maybe that would be in another video. On the other hand, I have many plans for this channel, many content to show you guys. First, I want to finish my Ashiton Joe piano tutorials. That is something that I have been working since last year. There are at least three more soundtracks I want to make piano versions of. That includes Joe Forever, obviously. And I want that one to be perfect. Second, I will probably make a part two of this video. I, you, I hope you guys like this one if you guys maybe want me to change the format for the next one let me know I will see what I can do and I think that's all thanks for watching till the end hasta luego